vociferously opposed this move, citing the costs of retooling CD bins and the risk of increased shoplifting. As an experiment, the tower store on Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles has installed a bin full of long boxless CDs in an effort to, as one tower executive put it, give people an idea of how crappy the store of the future looks. See what you think. This came from Russ Solomon, who owns Tower Records. He wanted to show the consumers and the people at the record companies what it will look like when we go to the jewel box only format, which is said they hope to do by April of 93. You can't merchandise a product that's that big as easily as you can merchandise a product that's that big. We selected titles, new selling artists, and uh, new releases, and we ripped open the packages and we resealed them so that they were you know, available for sale in their jewel box only. It's just a waste of uh, paper and uh, and time and trees. Long boxes are better to hold, and uh, it seems like you get more of a product. It's all about the music in the in the album. If someone knows your album, then they don't need a, like a big display or anything like that. As far as like displays and stuff, you can make up great displays with stuff like this. I mean, just the way it is, because it's right there. I mean, it's jump, it's jumping out at you pretty well. The record store of the future here today in L.A. That's the news for now. Try to catch our daily news show, The Vina, in what used to be 